Skelet's Revenge, the most feared ship on the high seas, and you've finally taken her. Captain Fromm and his skeleton crew have amassed a mighty treasure, and now is your chance to take it all. Ye and your crew must enter the Skelet's Revenge and try to loot all the treasure. But beware, there are still enemy pirates looking about, and some nasty guards looking to make sure you don't make it out alive. Not to mention the fact that you'll be doing all this in the middle of the fire that was caused by the battle. You'll need to fight the flames, the skeleton crew, and your own fatigue. Can ye and your crew recover all the treasure and earn more riches and glory than you've ever dreamed of? Or are you going down with a ship? Stop me! There's a pretty sight. It'll be prettier still when the fire reaches the magazine, Captain. Pretty though. Lots of stout seamen among them. They've been with us a long time. We can none of us live forever, Mr. Boyle. And dead men don't talk. Man your own. We've got this job to do before high tide. All right. Uh, remind us when the numbers get to the point where we got to check to make sure they're exploding. All right. So we got the got that... Good. Okay. So now we randomly choose a character. Okay. I am Cobalt Raffin? Callan? Fallen? Cobalt Fallen? Can't really tell. I would, I would say Cobalt, yeah. Fallen, yeah. Fallen, I think, yeah. While looting, this player is fatigued as if he were not looting. Oh, right. All right. That's not so bad. Yeah, that's a nice thing. Ooh, I've got Lydia Lamour. Lydia. This player has six actions to use each turn instead of five. All right. Oh, wow. It's an interesting way to start out here. Mm -mm. Okay, let's see. So we need the gold doubloons let's each, don't we? This one forward a little. I'm going to lock it down. Let me lock down your player sheet. Yeah, yeah you can lock all, all that right. down. All right, yep, get our doubloons out. Can you lock down the balls as well? I always pick up the balls. Yeah, I can do that. Lock it. Lock it. There you go. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Then I'm going to... All right, this is all locked down. That's all locked down. Okay. All right. So now we each choose a random item. I have got the blanket. Ooh. And I have got... The sword. Okay. Ooh. Cool, cool. All right, so I get to lower a fire die by two each turn. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that'll come out nice. All right, now we need to get our little battle markers, pirate tokens. guess we can actually search for those, can't we? You get Lydia. And I get Lucky, whatever his name is. <laughs> cobalt. cobalt. All right, so I get cobalt. Mm. Put them on the battle track. All right. What we got left? Um, we got to lay these out up here so we know what we got to choose from if we want to choose stuff. Okay. There we go. In case we want to swap items. We can just swap it into those at once, can't we? Yep. Yep, you can you can swap for any item up there as long as you spend an action point. You pull whatever you choose, you take down, you throw what you have back up there. And like in that, that introductory game we play, if you want to use the blanket, you can buy it from me for an action, and then I, you know, yours goes up yonder, and then I get to choose something to replace it with. All oh, right, okay. So, yeah. All right, so we've got to put the red and the yellow dice on, have we? Yep. You want to roll for the first red? Okay, I'll roll for the red. You can roll for the yellow this time. Three. 
Right. Four. All right, I'm already off to kill us. Thank you. No problem. I got a four as well. And I got a four. Four is the magic number. Wow, we're definitely trying to kill each other. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> At least they weren't fives. Hmm, <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, does the hatch spawn anybody yet, or is that wait? Do we wait for that? I to think it does. I think it starts off with a deck hand as well. They should be in the bag over yonder. So they have four smarting tiles, explosion marker, um, fire die. Yep, a deck hand goes in with the trap door. Which bag of the deck hands inside? He's talking as room tiles, deck hands. He goes, the deck hand goes in, is it one? Just one, yes. Okay. All right. What difficulty level are we going to play? Whatever you're in the mood for. Mm, shall we try the next one up? We tried four last time. We'll go with five. Okay, what's five do? Five, five chests. Uh, five treasures. Off. Yep, need five treasures. And did I put the captain? Did I tuck the captain in the bag? Uh, I don't know what you did with the captain. You said, shall we play with him? I said, it's up to you. And then I never saw him again. Yep, he's got 21 in there. So, yep, the captain's in there. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to shuffle those up. And I'm going to shuffle up the room tiles. Okay. Uh, is that everything? Yep. I think so. That's it. I think it is. Alrighty. So. Highest die goes first. Sounds good Six to me. Is high. I get a four. Wow, we like our fours tonight. We like our fours. If I roll a four, I'm going to go. Oh, you go first. So if I can <laughs> roll a four, I'm going to go play GTA. <laughs> Somebody's trying to tell us something. <laughs> okay, we search first. So we always pick two on the first turn. Let's see. A four. Wow, who'd have thought it? Uh, I'm, I'm surprised. Were you surprised? <laughs> Drop it there, lock it down. And let's draw a token for it. Good shape to start out with. Oh, and well done. A hatch. <laughs> okay. Well done. Lock it down. And let's put a deck hand on here. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're screwed this time. <laughs> I do. I think we're we're all gonna die. Wow. All right, that's the first room out of the way. Second room. A full not... barrel. Well done. Yes, just brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's not a four. Uh, over here. Set two on it. Yep. All right, and it's locked down. Okay. Oi. All right. Do you have to draw a token for that one? Or? Yes, you do. Sorry. I'm glad you said that. That's why it's nice to have... That's why it's nice to have someone else. Uh, what is it? A cutlass. And he's only a three. Okay. All right. So I'm going to move on to the burning ship. Yar, me mateys. And take four fatigue straight take away. Four Ouch. fatigue, yep. That's difficult. Boom. Alright, that was moving was one. I am going to use my blanket. Thank you. And drop the fire down to a two. Ooh, uh, yeah, okay. Yes. I was just going to say that it's mm -hmm. a four, and almost everything around it's a four, so we won't take the team moving from there unless you drop it. <laughs> but yeah, we've got to drop them anyway. We've got, we've got to drop them anyway, so yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, we pull a Skelet's Revenge 4, suddenly all th f four of these would go to a 5 and be about to explode on us. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so... In fact, I think I may move this way. Actually, you can... You can, can you do fire from an adjacent? Or is that just a special ability? Uh, that's a special much, ability a special of just ability the one guy, yeah. That's the, yeah, that's the ability of... Um, Whatever the captain the bucket, was, yeah. The bucket and that fella yeah, yeah. that you had last time. So yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to move one, and I'm going to drop that one to a three. And what have I got left? I'm trying to go. Um, now, deckhands you can do. You can do those from an adjacent room. Can you? That's what the card says, yeah. Says deck hand, remove one from current or adjacent room. So I will use my last move and get rid of that deck hand. Oh, really? Oh, well done. I didn't know you could do that. All right. So now it is your turn. You don't have to have a special thing to be able to remove from adjacent room, do you not? Not deck hands. Sure Crew right? members, you need to, you got to have a pistol or a special ability. Okay. But yeah, right. deck, deck hands. Let's see what that is. That's beeping at me. Let's see if it was Dwindon or the wife. But nope, it is a. Uh, ooh. Some missing 90 year old out on the road driving around. Sounds like some Alzheimer's grandpa's got in his car and gotten lost. Oh dear. Yeah. Hmm. Alrighty. My turn? Your turn. Okay. Well, the room I get is a three, and it's only a one entrance. Oh, dear. Mm. Dead end. Uh, I think I'll stick it there. Okay. So it's a dead end. Locked it down. Um, and I need a double-sided token on it, don't I? Yep. Ooh, Ooh treasure. treasure. So that said, level eight pirate. Indeed, oh. it is. Ouch. Yeah, rough. And now I get another room, don't I? Yes, sir. A three with three possible ways. Um, Tank bed. Should I do it like that, maybe? Yeah, I think I'll put it there. Yeah, that's decent. I get a token for it if you'll put a dice on it. I will. It's a crew member with some rum. Okay. <clears throat> right. Okay, I'm going to move on to the ship mm -hmm. and take true fatigue and a movement point. I'm on two fatigue. Bit hard to see those grey tokens on the grey board, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Might have changed uh, the colour. Well, let's change the colour to... Can you swap the colour to something should else? Should be able to, yeah. yeah change the colour to match whatever your uh, character thing is. The bottom right. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, I was what? choosing the, the slider uh, thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, try just uh, one of the boxes. Try one of the boxes. Uh, see, I, I didn't want to just be a normal box. I wanted to be special. You are special. You'll never be a normal box. <laughs> um, do you know, it's funny because when we were, well, I must have been about, what, 10 or 11, and my brother's uh -huh. about 6, we was driving actually to here where I live now, to the seaside, and uh, my grandfather was driving, and even my brother was arguing with him for something, and he was only little, like you know. And I think he wanted to call him, a, a, you know, a bugger or something, but it was too dangerous. So he said, uh -huh. "You big stupid bugger," and he didn't know what to say. So he went, "Box." <laughs> 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 so we, we teased him for the rest of his life. Big stupid box. <laughs> big stupid box. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. Um, so uh, um, yeah, I moved on to the the square. Yep. Um, I think I'm going to lower it to one, shall I? Okay. 
just keep, you know, try and keep the fires at maximum. Uh, Sounds fine to me. Yeah. Uh, rotational value one, so that that takes up a movement point. Um, I'm going to eliminate this deck hand. All right. So that takes up a movement Take point. Him away, yep. Are you sure I can do it from a room away? That feels uh, really yeah. weird. It's in the card. It's I thought that the card would be. that's available to everybody. Okay. Okay. So I've got three movement points left, so I'm mm -hmm. going to move here. Mm hmm And I'm gonna lower the fire twice. Right, gonna... So moving there takes me one Take. movement point and it takes and two fatigue. Two fatigue, right. So one movement point. Actually, uh, uh, what two fatigue isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to load. I wonder if I lower the fire once and give you a movement point. I wonder if I should do that. Mm, I don't really need one. All right. For now, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll lower the fire mm. twice, so it turns to one. Okay. That takes up all six of my movement points then. All right. Ooh. No, we forgot to do. Got to draw the card for the ship. Oh, after your turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Okay. We'll, we'll see how things go. Go on. Well, um, draw the. Actually, I can put. I can do. I can redo it all, can't I? I can put the deck hand back on. I lowered that by one, so let's put that back up to two. Okay. And I lowered this by two, so put that back up to three. And I was off the ship. And my fatigue is still zero. Everything Yellow two. Forward. So, yep, this one goes up to a three. Aren't yeah. you happy we, we, we forgot that? And the spreads. Yep, they spread, so we're going to get one in both of those. Okay. Yes, yeah, much better now. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <gasps> Right, so I'm going to move Hello. on. Mm -hmm. That gives me three fatigue. Three fatigue. That takes up a point. I'm going to eliminate the deck hand. All right. That takes a fatigue. I'm going to lower the fire by one. That takes up a, a, a movement point. I'm going to... Eliminate that deck hand. All right. That takes up a point. I'm going to move on to the red square. Mm -hmm. That takes up a point, and I've got one left. So I'm going to lower that to two. All right. There you go. Okay. Now I draw for the ship. Now, yeah. You screw us now. Five. Ooh, any five? God, we don't have any. No. And what's that circle mean? That means nothing, does it? That's the explosion. So, you know, if this if we had any fives, we'd have an explosion because they'd go to six. Mm -hmm. So that reminds us that we set it off to the side, and like Pandemic, when we get three of these, we shuffle them all together. Ah, that's what that is, three of those. Yeah, that's okay, the, yeah. the deck timer. Yep, okay, okay, right. Okay. So we can turn all our talk talkers back over again. Yep. Okay. First thing okay. I'm going to do is get sorry, rid... Sorry, I just forgot to put my fatigue oh, on. I'm uh, sorry. sorry. Uh, no, no, it was me. I forgot. I think I moved on and I got three fatigue, and I moved across to that one, and it was three. Oh, I didn't move... Uh, oh, because it was a... No, I moved it to two, so one. Yeah, so... Yeah. Three. Yeah, I should be on four. Sorry. Yep. I'm right now. Yep. Alrighty. Yeah, I'm going to spend a point and get rid of a deck hand. Yep. Okay. And then... Oh, you got to pick up. Sorry, you got to pick a room first, haven't you? Always with the negative waves, the city. <laughs> Always with the negative waves. Oh. All right. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess I will set it right here. It still gives us the maximum move around ability. Okay. Alright, it was just a one. Just a one. Oh, I hate those little threes like that. 
Yeah, the lower the powder keg, the much more dangerous it is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they ain't got to raise too high. Yeah. All right, and our token is... <laughs> oh, God, this me. My God. All right, <coughs> let me lock that down. And put a jet hand on that one. All right, that helps kind of decide what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to move here. That's not going to cost me any fatigue. Okay. Then I'm going to get rid of the deck hand. Uh, yep. So that will be one. I'm going to reduce the fire. Yep. I don't even like having a one when you got a three barrel. No, no. Okay, so I move deck hand barrel I am going to use I guess move back take Ooh, that three fatigue you, that'll give you three fatigue yeah and then I'm going to use my blanket could you not have done that the other way around yeah I probably could have no blanket has to be in the room well, that's what I'm saying. Could you, could you not have used your blanket there first before you moved in to tackle the deck and that route? Well, I probably could have. But, mm. you know, live and learn. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that'll drop me to one fire in this room. Okay. Okay, and I need to draw a card. You draw a card. Red fives. Red fives. No red fives. Red fives, standing by. Two cards down to reshuffling now. Okay. All right, your turn. 